My name is Heather, and I'm here to talk about Lit 140. Don't worry, it's not a class. It's just what has happened at the intersection of two passions, reading and social media. A little theory first. We live our lives in very fragmented ways. We work in one place, live in another, socialize in others. And not always the people we interact with in any of these places meet each other or see the various sides of ourselves. But online, as we participate in various social media networks, all my profiles, um, people get a broader sense of who we are, a sense of our human dimensionality. And I really believe Twitter is really the kind of pinnacle for where this can happen. It's short and you can post anything. What you're doing that day, clients about work, um, relationships with individuals, things that make you laugh, etc. In December, I was reading The Alchemist, and in the prologue is the story of Narcissus, who is not only a very beautiful young man, but a vain young man. And every day, he would sit by the lake and look at his own reflection and admire himself. And at one point, he falls into the lake, and he drowns. And the lake starts to weep, and weeps. And as she weeps, her fresh water turns to salt water. Now, forest goddesses came and noticed this and asked her why she wept and asked if it was because she felt guilty for being the reason or the source of Narcissus' death. And she said, no, it was because in the depths of his eyes I saw my own beauty reflected. I thought that was very, very powerful, and I tweeted it. And actually, Soul For Real here, um, who's here, noticed it, and she asked me what it was from, and this dialogue, dialogue started. And from that point, I started as I read books, if I saw an excerpt that was particularly compelling, funny, touched me in some way with something that was going on in my life, I would post it on Twitter. And as I started to do more and more of these, I thought, well, they come from one place. Wouldn't it be interesting if I aggregate them? Don't provide any explanation of why I selected why I selected, but just pull together summaries of books based only on those excerpts that interested me. And I cross post with other, not only on my blog, but other social media sites that I'm on. But as I do this, it garners attention. Um, and that's a good thing. The very first time I posted um, to my blog, I actually went through my archive one by one to find anything that I recognized as an excerpt for a book. It was very, very tedious. So fortunately, hashtags, right, saves my life. But as I used hashtags and developed Lit140, it's a way of designating to people that maybe others would be interested in this. So as I garner attention from people who've seen this, I end up with some conundrums. The first one is about attribution. We often quote individuals other than ourselves, and it lends a credibility to what we have to say. And so if I strip those quotes, I'm asking you to look at something a particularly compelling thought without any association of who it is from, who it's by, and asking you to give away its credibility of your own volition. But as I take out those quotes, there's a risk of plagiarism, right? So it's just an interesting issue that I, I deal with. And I question, how do I approach that online? Another thing is misattribution, the opposite side. People might think these are my views. So the top tweet about people with real religious conviction being potentially religious convicts and deserve locking up. Now, is that something I believe? Not necessarily, but there's an interesting dialogue. Think about Mother Teresa versus David Koresh. The last issue is decontextualization. We draw meaning from context. And so if I am not providing you anything else, but these 140 characters or less, am I actually stripping meaning from the very thought that I'm asking you to consider. People have dialogued with me online. Um, as I interact with people in real life who know me, they see Lit140, the hashtag, and they go, well, what's this about? And they want to ask other questions and or ask the meaning of a particular tweet. What inspired it? And as they do that, I start to wonder, should I be setting up other ways for people to dialogue with them? <coughs> but I don't know. It's not a question I have an answer to right now. I may end up doing what I've done so far is let people decide what they want to do with it on their own. Twitter laureate, Twitter, or 
Twit Laureate was done by Den the Wise, and something he started, I believe, from dialogue from him, inspired by my own Lit 140, and it's a way of engaging people in poetry. And it's just putting something out there for the public that is a personal passion, and letting them take it and decide what they want to do with it. 